All right, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the mirror image pattern block. We had a question on social media about this specifically. Um, the question had to do with a text block, but it works the same whether you're doing a text, um, a, a mill circle, mill frame, or a contour or whatever. I just happen to have drawn a quick little polygon, three-sided polygon. I rotated it 30 degrees just to get it so it's not symmetrical. So when we do the mirror image, we can see what happens here. And the way we do the mirror image block is if I go to the review screen, I wanna take this mill polygon and I wanna pattern it. I wanna mirror image it to the right. So I wanna flip it around to the right side, um, 180 degrees. So I highlight the block that I wanna mirror. And right before that, I'm gonna insert a pattern mirror image. Now, the block itself is pretty self-explanatory with the exception of this angle. That's where the, the in, instruction or the explanation really comes in. So first of all, do we wanna keep the original? Yes, in this case, I wanna cut the one where it is, and then I wanna do the mirror image. And the X and Y location is a, how far away from the original am I going to place the mirror image? I'm gonna to move to my right three inches. So we're gonna put three inches there. I don't wanna do anything in the Y because we're mirror imaging along the X axis. And the angle is gonna be determining how our mirror is placed. Zero degrees and 180 are going to be pointing this way, the positive direction of the X or the negative direction of the X, or if you think of our of our programming compass, zero degrees is at three o'clock, 180 would be at nine o'clock, and that would be how we position the mirror for uh, zero or 180 degrees. Now, obviously that means we're gonna mirror image in the Y axis. We said we're gonna move it in the X. So I wanna change my mirror direction to be vertical, just like it's shown in the image here, which is gonna be 90 degrees or 270. Either one of them will work exactly the same. After the block that I wanna mirror, I wanna put my pattern end. So I'll insert a pattern end. So if we go look at that in the review, we've got our mirror block telling it how to mirror, what block is going to get mirrored, and then a mirror end or a pattern end. So if I draw that now, we're gonna see that we mirror imaged around the three inch mark. So here's our zero, we moved over three inches. We have our 90 or 270 degree mirror, and then we're mirror imaging around that. Let's say now we wanted to take both of these and mirror image them in the Y axis to the lower quadrant here. Well, we go back to our review screen. We're going to, before this grouping or mirror, we're gonna put a new mirror image block, insert, pattern, mirror image. We do want to include the originals. This time we're going to go minus three inches in the Y axis because now we want a mirror image down below. We want our mirror to run in the zero or 180 degree plane. Again, either one will work. We're going to leave it at zero. And then we need to put another pattern end at the very end here. So if we do a pattern end, we now have blocks Two and four will mirror image them to the right. Blocks one and five will now mirror image those two down in the y-axis. So here we have our first one, the first mirror image. Now we're gonna mirror image both of those. So you can see it's a very simple block to use. It's just understanding how to position those mirrors and in which direction you're gonna mirror once you have those in place.